So I made the last 8 videos to reinforce a point that I've been making for a while, which is that Catalyst is not the only broken elite spec in the game, not even close. In fact, there are only a few ways to make Elementalist feel so powerful that it's broken, which are Hammer Fire Arcane Catalyst, Sword Focus Fire Arcane Weaver, and occasionally you might run into a Fresh Air Scepter Catalyst or Weaver. Both those builds have actual weaknesses, I get that they're a little overtuned still. I mean, Weaver, I'm not even sure if we- I wouldn't say Weaver is overtuned compared to the current meta, maybe the Catalyst Fresh Air Scepter version is. But neither are nearly as oppressive as the last two aforementioned builds. Mind you, some people were desperate enough to be running double focus or five invulnerability using the Catalyst Elite. I never cared for that playstyle personally. Well, now you don't have to worry about that anymore because it's been nerfed, so whoop de doo the nerfs didn't affect my Catalyst build at all, because my Catalyst build is masochistic enough to avoid picking up any attention apparently. Most people can't play it and the only people who complain about it are players who don't even realize how weak it is to anything half decent, played by a player who can rub two brain cells together. I wanted to include a video for Ellie specifically, not just for fairness, but also because these Fire Arcane builds honestly just piss me off as well. I hate fighting them on anything that isn't the exact same build, in fact I hate fighting them on any elementalist build because they will usually win even if I know they're a shitty player. You're just always having somewhat of a bad time anytime you have to face a fire arcane catalyst or weaver. Hammer is quite oppressive in its current state, but even dagger dagger on fire arcane catalyst is just way too condition heavy and full celly. It feels like fighting a condi mirage with how quickly the burns get stacked up and even though you can respect the effort that goes into it, it's just annoying how many tricks the elementalist has up their sleeve. Which is why I believe it's much more forgivable when an elementalist is playing something a little more off meta. Not just that, it's more fun to play off meta. Look at this stupid build that I play. Sometimes I play it as Fire Air Weaver. But even if you take water, it's a power build, it's fun. When you die on it, it still feels good, because at least you know you're playing the game on hard difficulty. Or take this Core Elementalist. Yes, it's running Fire Arcane, but we have none of the bonuses of Catalyst or Weaver. And funnily enough, I kill a lot of meta builds with this Core Ellie build, yet nobody complains that Core Ellie is overpowered because they know that as soon as they say Core Elementalist is overpowered, it's going to be clear that they're exaggerating. No one in their right mind would call Core Ellie overpowered, and yet I kill way too many roamers with it. Too long didn't read version. Fire Arcane Catalyst and Weaver are dumb. So is everything else in the game. People overstate how broken Ellie is and understate how broken everything else is and this is largely because of bad at the game. Okay, bye.